Welcome to Search Pulse. Today's deep dive reveals how global rail operators from Japan to the UK power their trains using wide range of traction converter systems. We'll classify these by technology, scalar control, vector control, IGBT, thyristor, MOSFET, and silicon carbide. Plus, discover real challenges and solutions in the maintenance faced by each country and manufacturer. Let's classify the converter technology, first being scalar versus vector control. Scalar control is simple, adjusting voltage and frequency together, ideal for non-critical speed cases, but less precise. Vector control used in Japan's Shinkansen and much of Europe aligns stator currents for high torque and tightly regulated speed, essential for high performance trains. Now let's see the technology of devices used in converters. The first is thyristor based converters. These are reliable for high voltage AC and DC systems still used in broad Chinese and older Indian projects. Then comes IGBT based converters. These are the backbone of modern traction enabling compact design and robust performance. Now standard across Japan, Germany and India's new EMUs. Lastly, the MOSFET and silicon carbide based designs. The European and Chinese are pushing frontiers with silicon carbide based MOSFETs, providing high power density, reduced energy losses, and easier maintenance. Check out this section where you can find the classification of the design of converter system adopted by different countries and control method, and which rail system work on the same. Now let's understand the maintenance issues in the converters based on the type of design. The thyristor based converters are more prone to thermal and aging failures. Maintenance involves regular inspection and cooling system upgrades. The IGBT based converters are sensitive to over voltage, dust and environmental stress. Indian Railways faces challenges like IGBT module overheating, improper cooling and the PCB reliability. Solutions better component quality, enhanced thermal management, and rigorous cleaning. The MOSFET and silicon carbide based converters are in initial deployment in regions like Spain and Germany. These units see reduced losses and maintenance work, but faster switching raises insulation stress, which requires improved cable shielding and diagnostic methods. So, we have seen different technologies of converters, the designs and their issues. But how does the rail operators and manufacturers have responded to converter maintenance issues? Some of the improvements done so far are upgrading converter modules and cooling architecture, using predictive diagnostics and scheduled cleaning routines, specifying silicon carbide and advanced IGBT designs for lower service needs and longer lifespan, Collaborating internationally to share best practices. Japan and Europe especially share reliability data to improve systems globally. The world's rail operators have embraced advanced converter systems, each tailored to their unique operational needs, whether it's vector control IGBT in high-speed Japanese trains, robust thyristors for Chinese intercity services, or cutting-edge silicon carbide-based designs in Europe. Reliability hinges on robust engineering and coordinated global maintenance strategies. That's all for today. If you found this video informative, then please do give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you feel some improvements can be done to the content, then do give your valuable comments. Till next time, stay charged and stay tuned to Search Pulse. Thanks a lot.